Hi, Randy from Quad Education here, helping students get into their dream college. Today's question comes to us from the math section of an SAT exam, but you could find a similar question on the ACT equally. The question reads, if f of x equals 5x squared minus 3, and f of x plus a equals 5x squared plus 30x plus 42, what is the value of a? Well, this is a function problem, and function problems can seem a little bit confusing. The best way to approach it is to reword it in terms that make a little bit more sense. So if we read this as, for all values of x, use this equation, and when x, or what's in the parentheses, equals this, this equation will now equal that. Let me show you what I mean by that. So all we're simply going to do is replace the x with this portion right here. So that would now be 5 times x plus a squared minus 3 is equal to that whole equation right there. We're not going to rewrite that just yet because we have to do a few steps to the left side before we can set it equal to the right side. So being that we're squaring x plus a, we're going to write that out twice. So that would be 5 times x plus a times x plus a minus 3. And that still equals that equation right over there. Now we're going to do FOIL. FOIL is first, outer, inner, and last. So we have 5 times, the first would be x times x, which is 8x squared. Our outer and inner would both be x, x times a, so that would be plus 2ax. And then our last, a times a, would be a squared. That's still minus 3, and that still equals this equation right over there. So now we can distribute our 5, and what we would get is 5x squared plus 10ax, because 5 times 2ax gives us 10ax, plus 5a squared minus 3. And now we can bring down our other portion of the equation, 5x squared plus 30x plus 42. So basically, these two equations are supposed to equal each other. And our 5x squared does equal 5x squared, so that checks out. So now our 10ax has to equal 30x right over there. So 10ax equals 30x. We can now solve for that a because that's what we were setting out to do. To do that, we would divide both sides by 10x so that the 10 and the x would cancel out. And that would give us a is equal to 30 divided by 10, which is 3, and x divided by x is 1, that cancels out. So our a would be equal to 3. Now we do have that in the answer choices, but if we want to check our answer, now that these two work out, we have to have the 5a squared minus 3 equal to 42 in order for this all to equal each other perfectly. Now we said that a is 3. So if we plug 3 in for that a, 3 squared is 9, 9 times 5 is 45, and 45 minus 3 is 42. So the equation does check out when a equals 3. So we can safely say that c would be our answer. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos on tackling SAT and ACT concepts. Bye for now.